This is Paul Tursley with a demo of Open Sesame version 1.5. Open Sesame opens up the After Effects project format by creating fully editable, human readable text based files. You can create backwards compatible projects that can be opened into any version of After Effects back to CS3, or just export parts of a project for editing in a spreadsheet. You can export all the text layers in your project and create multiple language versions or send the spreadsheet to clients for final text approval, then easily incorporate any changes. You can also change text styles, replace footage, change property values, render queue items and more. Open Sesame text files can also be used with a separate script called Open Sesame Server to create fully automated project versioning and rendering workflows. In this video we'll look at creating backwards compatible projects. Check out the other videos on the Open Sesame page to see how you can export parts of a project such as text for editing in a spreadsheet. So for this demo we're going to use a project from videohive.net called Motion Profile. So as you can see, pretty cool project. Um, so we're going to start by opening this into After Effects. And this is After Effects CC 2014, which is After Effects version 13. OK, so let's have a quick look here. We can see um, text layers, shape layers, lots of animation. None of this is pre-rendered. OK, so let's say you have a client or another company that wants your After Effects project, but they don't have the latest version of After Effects. Now, for a while, you've been able to do this file save as and save one version back. But if they have a much older version, then you have a problem or you did have a problem before Open Sesame. So I've already installed the script in the After Effects scripts folder. I recommend installing it here rather than the script UI panels folder. So let's select that and all we're going to do is click export project and save that. Okay, so then we're going to open After Effects CS4. This is um, After Effects version 9, so this is four versions back. And I've also installed the script in the CS4 script folder. So we're going to run Open Sesame from CS4. And in here, we'll click Import Project and then select that text file. And Open Sesame will read through the text file and line by line recreate the entire project. So depending on the size of your project, this could take some time. OK, so that's imported. And uh, we can see here it's imported a render queue item. And if we look in the comp, we can see it's done a great job of recreating the entire project. Um, now, I did notice one thing on this first text layer. If we have a look at that in the original project. Now, this text layer has multiple textiles on a single layer. And unfortunately, one limitation of scripting is that scripts can't apply multiple textiles to a single text layer. So this will be a limitation of any script that is dealing with text. And we do have a potential solution here. If you're able to run both versions of After Effects on the same computer at the same time as I'm doing here, then you can actually copy and paste the text styles between them. So I'm going to kind of double click on this text layer and select Copy. And then I'm going to move to CS4 and double click again. Oh, I think I jogged it there. Don't want to do that. All right. Double uh, select 
select all the text and paste and there you can see it's pasted the text style from um, the later version of After Effects. <coughs> now this would be a bigger problem if you were exporting all the way back to CS3 because the CS3 had a bigger limitation where um, scripts couldn't apply any text styles to layers. Um, so if you were exporting all the way back to CS3 you would have some more work to do to correct the text styles on the text layers. But even with this limitation, if you really need to get your project converted to an earlier version, then this will still save you incredible amounts of work. Um, now, talking about limitations, there are a few limitations, and those are listed on the Open Sesame page. And we're just going to have a look at another of these, which is um, certain effects have property values which are called custom data values. Uh, so I'm just going to create a new comp, and a new solid, and I'm going to apply the levels effect. Now this is an example of an effect with custom data values. Um, you can see it has a single keyframeable property, the histogram, but into that are fed multiple different values. And another example would be the curves effect. Um, so if I was to apply, say, a gamma correction here and try to export this project, then we'll get this um, message saying one item couldn't be exported. And we can open the export error log. And it says here, can't export custom data, effect levels, property histogram. So if I was to try and import that project into CS4, It would import, but if we look at the effect, it's applied the levels, but it's just at its default values. So there is a workaround in the case of levels, which is that you should, before export, swap, swap out any copies of levels with the alternate levels individual controls effect. And in here, every um, property is a separate keyframeable value and therefore compatible with scripting. So if I was to apply this a gamma change here and export this project then it exports without any errors and when I import that into CS4 you can see that uh, setting has been applied. So there are a few other limitations notably um, paint and puppet pin um, those aren't fully accessible through scripting, and so those uh, won't, won't be able to be converted. Uh, and then uh, Rotobrush, uh, so Rotobrush didn't even exist in the earlier version. If you have things that didn't exist in the earlier versions, then obviously they won't be recreated. So if you have things like that, then you would need to pre-render those elements before exporting the project. Uh, but like I said, even with these limitations, if you uh, really need to get it into an earlier version then this will save you a great deal of work. Um, let's just before we go have a quick look at the text file that was created. So if we open that motion profile into a text editor we can see all the information that makes up that project um, and uh, even better let's um, open this into a spreadsheet so this is Excel and here you can see uh, everything's laid out those um, tab separated values have been converted into columns and we can see we got the folders, footage, comps, layers, property values uh, down to expressions and the render. Now it is possible to make changes to the project by editing this text file but it isn't generally recommended. Uh, if you were going to do that then I would recommend instead using the export editable values option and we will look at that in a separate tutorial. Uh, if you're exporting with the intention of editing the project then you don't need the backwards compatibility and don't need to export the entire project and uh, if you do it with this export editable values values you'll have none of the limitations things like 
paint and things, other things that can't be converted. So uh, the export editable values is a much better way to go. And we will look at that in the next tutorial. Uh, that's the end of this demo, so thanks for watching.